Well guys, if you've watched the last video, you've probably, the well, last three or four videos, you've probably been wondering, did he do all these back to back? Well the answer is yes. And you've probably also been wondering, why is he wearing a shirt about beer if only one of the videos was about beer and it wasn't even enough beer that was any good? Well, this video, I'm going to be drinking this beer. And you notice it's in this plastic paper bag, that's because this beer is the type of beer that you classically see people drinking out of a paper bag. That's because it is a malt liquor. It's not a 40 ounce, but it is a malt liquor all the same, and it's a pretty large bottle. So I just decided, why not drink it, this malt liquor, like most malt liquors are supposed to be drinking, out of a paper bag. Let's give it a taste. Whoa. That's not at all like any other malt liquor I've ever tasted. So, why don't I take it out of the bag? Because this malt liquor is not like any other malt liquor you've probably ever seen. This is Founders DKML Imperial Malt Liquor, which was aged in bourbon barrels. And as you can see, it is a 14.2% alcohol by volume. That's to make up for that non-alcoholic beer that I've drank before. So, what does DKML stand for? Well, I can tell you the K stands for kick or kicking, and ML stands for malt liquor. D stands for where you're doing the kicking, and it refers to some part of the male anatomy. Anyway, it says kicks you where kicks you where you most expect it. So where would you most expect it? I don't get I don't expect to get kicked at all. But this is by Founders Brewery. It is a malt liquor. So they created malt liquor just like uh, King Cobra or Old English. One of those you would get in a, those tall 40 ounce bottles. Sometimes you'd drink it down to the label and refill it with orange juice and listen to a certain Beastie Boy song. But this one is from their their line of uh, barrel aged series for the year 2017 and this one they aged in bourbon barrels and it's an imperial malt liquor I think when you make something imperial it just means like more of whatever it is you're using so more malt in this case so just so we get a proper view and review of this, I'm going to pour some into this cup. So what color am I expecting this to be? I don't know. Dark or light? It's got a nice cascading bubbles in there. Okay, so you can see it's a nice darker amber color. The smells are very sweet, caramely, like a thick caramel smell to it, like it's going to like stick to your gums. Cheers. You gotta take mm, a couple steps back. It does really have a kick. And it's not like it's not like a kick to the mouth. It's a kick to the whole body. It's 
it's a powerful drink. You really taste like a really, it's not like super malty, like a, a malt beverage or malt liquor it would taste like. It still has a hoppy kick to it, and it doesn't leave a super sweet malt flavor in your mouth. But you definitely get that alcohol kick, and not necessarily in a bad way. The uh, the bourbon barrel is subtle, um, but you can tell that it has been aged just because the flavors are more mellowed together. You don't get like this first hit of hops and then this lasting sweet malt like that non alcoholic beer had. This has all the flavors together. <sighs> Definitely something you shouldn't chug or even attempt to drink fast. After I get finished with this, I'm probably going to be pretty knocked out and shouldn't get behind the wheel of any type of motor vehicle. This is one heck of a drink. And I only drank it down to here to fill this cup. So I might have one or two more fills. I think this is a 750 milliliter bottle. If I'm not mistaken. A nice picture of a, a screaming guy on there. I'm guessing that's uh, his expression after getting kicked. I gotta say, I like this. It has a... Uh, it has all the, the becomings of a really good brew and if you have one of these I would suggest maybe even like saving it maybe a year even two years to see what this changes into see if the flavors mellow out a little bit more maybe that won't be such a hard kick and will still have a lot of the good flavor that it has This one goes like straight to like the back of my head when I drink this. I almost feel like my shoulders are like pushed back, like I got hit by something. And even with all those kicks, it still manages to taste really good. It's not the best beer I've had. Um, but for uh, for a malt liquor, I would definitely say that is the best beer I've ever had that straight out called itself a malt liquor, for sure. It doesn't have that will give you a headache and make you sick flavor like some malt liquors have. This tastes like they took some time on it and they really crafted it into something nice. Founders, you've done a good job with taking something most people take for granted, drink out of a brown paper bag to hide the fact of what it is, because they're not drinking it for the flavor, they're just drinking it because it's cheap, and it's large, and it'll get you drunk. This is large, it will get you drunk, it wasn't cheap, and it doesn't taste cheap either. I'm going to give the DKML from Founders, a 9 out of 10, top-notch beer, A- minus for sure. And I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This will be the last one that I'm making today, and probably good, because I think after this, uh, I won't be coherent enough to make anything. It'll just be me babbling and rambling. Who wants to see me babbling and rambling on these videos? That's not what you come here for. You come here so I get straight to the facts and I don't waste your time. It's what I'm known for. I'm known for not filling my videos and making them longer, just talking about nothing. If you want that, you go to other people's pages. 
not this page. This page is concise to the point and it only tells you the facts. And it doesn't repeat itself. Definitely does not, it never repeats itself. This video will never repeat itself. My page will never repeat itself. I don't repeat myself. Anyway, hope you guys love this video and you all give it a thumbs up. And no one gives it a thumbs down because you know it doesn't deserve that. You know it, I know it. And anyway, I've enjoyed myself. Have you enjoyed yourself? Good. Bye, guys. Keep on enjoying yourselves.